What changes in family structure have occurred? The generations being studied are Generation X and Generation Z. Family structure is used to describe a household containing one family member who is under the age of 18. I chose to study this area because I think it is interesting and because my parents' family structure differs from my own. Public opinions. Do you believe that family structure has changed over time? Majority of people think that families have changed over time. The main points brought up that the increase in acceptance for single parents and LGBTQ plus families, as well as changes in divorce laws. The people who said no mentioned that parents still have the most control and the basic nuclear family structure is still what people consider to be normal. Do you believe that you will be a different person if your family were different? All people think that your family influences your personality. The main views provided were that their beliefs and values are all that you know for a significant portion of your life and that the way they parented you also affects you differently. Divorce and marriage. Divorce rate. Divorce defined as the dissolution of a marriage or civil union peaked in the mid-1970s with the introduction of the no-fault divorce law in the Family Act of 1975. This law meant that the court was no longer able to assign blame for who was at fault in the marriage and divorce was allowed in all cases provided that the relationship had been seen to be deteriorating for at least 12 months by both parties involved. This new law created a major spike in divorce rates in 1976. In 1970, the crude divorce rate was around 1.0 and in 1976, the crude divorce rate became a 4.5. The divorce rate has also been steadily decreasing since that time. From this information, it can be assumed that Generation X, being born into a time where divorces held the high, at the highest, would have a higher amount of divorcees than Generation Z. Marriage is becoming less common among young people, and people are also getting married at older ages than they were in the mid-20th century. In 1981, the average age of marriage for men was 26 and for women 23. In 2001, the average age of marriage for men was 31 and for women 29. Cohabitation Many couples choose cohabitation defined as the state of living together and having a sexual relationship without being married prior to getting married, which also contributes to the lower divorce rates and marriage rates that are current for parents of Generation X, Z and not Generation X. 75% of Generation X's parents are no longer together, compared to 28% of Generation Z. However, the remaining 25% of Generation X whose parents are no longer together, 26 62% of these cases were because of the death of one parent. From both Generation X and Z, no participant recorded both of their parents de being deceased, and Generation Z recorded 100% for neither parent being dead. For div divorce and separation, Generation X have a low 12% of parents being separated compared to 28% of Generation Z's parents being separated. From this, it can be understood that despite Generation X having a lower div percentage for parents that remain together, the majority of this appears to be caused by death rather than separation. Generation Z has a higher percentage of separated parents, with none of these separations being caused by death. Parenthood. Fertility rates. During the mid-20th century, the fertility rate in Australia was rising post-World War II and giving way to the baby boom. This trend of rising fertility rates continued until around 1965 or when the first of Generation X were being born. Birth rates did fall from a 4.0 fertility rate to a 3.0 fertility rate before plummeting in the mid-1970s near the end of Generation X. Fertility rates at the beginning of the 1990s, at the start of Generation Z, were sitting around 1.7, half of that during the period of Generation X at its lowest. The fertility rates have been holding steady in between 2.0 and 1.5 since. Women are also having children later in life. With those born into Generation Z having parents between 25 and 34 years when they were born, and those in Generation X had parents between 20, 20 and 29 years when they were born. This also ties into the younger age that parents of Generation X were marrying at compared to those of Generation Z. Ex-nuptitial births. The number of births outside of a marriage from ex-nuptitial relationships has dramatically increased from when Generation X were being born to when Generation Z were being born. In 1970, the number of ex-nuptitional births was below 5 to 10 percent, climbing to 30 to 40 percent in 2005. The sudden increase in ex-nuptitional births happened between the period between Generation X and Generation Z. Average household size. The average household size has been decreasing since when Generation X were children, and now when Generation Z are children, but not by a significant amount. In 1970, there was an average 
of three to four people in a household compared to two to three in 2010. Immediate family members. The results from the questionnaire follow the trend that Generation X has a higher average number of immediate family members sitting at 5.375 and Generation Z has an average of 3.611. Both these numbers sit on above the line graph and line up with their corresponding generation. Age of range of siblings. Generation X has a smaller number of age differences, 5 compared to Generation Z's 10. The age range for Generation X is 8.375 years and Generation Z's is 5.111. The higher age range for Generation X is likely caused by the higher fertility rate and household size at the time when Generation X were children and being born slash growing up. Relationships with family members. How often do you see family members outside of your immediate household on a scale from 1 to 10? Generation X has a much higher percentage of people who saw family members outside of their immediate household, rating how often they saw them at 10, 25% compared to 19%. Generation Z's highest recorded number was 5, indicating that they see family members outside of their immediate family relatively often. Generation X's highest recorded numbers were 10 and 3, showing that they either see family very often or very little. The average for the two generations was surprisingly similar, with 5.833 for Generation Z and 5.5 for Generation X. Do you get along well with your siblings? Generation Z is the only group that had any participants record that they didn't have any siblings, which fits into the lowering fertility rates and house sizes that were present during the time of Generation Z. It is also the only group that had participants record that they did not get along well with their siblings. Analysis slash interpretation of results. Generation X has a higher portion of parents that did not separate, but a higher number of parents who have died. Generation Z has a smaller average fa immediate family size than Generation X and a lower age range between their siblings. It can be assumed that as a Generation Z has a smaller immediate family size, they also have less siblings than people from Generation X. Generation X has a higher age range of their siblings than Generation Z. Both Generation X and Z see family members outside their immediate household about the same amount as children. Generation X appear to have a better relationships with their siblings than Generation Z. Conclusion In conclusion, it appears that the differences between families for children of Generation X and Generation Z vary based on what aspect of family is being investigated. The changes over time do not necessarily reflect family structure of the time.